So the focal point for Bernd Schmidt's book, Experiential Marketing, is something called Strategic Experiential Modules, or SEMs. This starts by his notion that experiences uh, are typologies of the mind. And so there are three aspects of experiences um, that affect an individual. One are the sensory aspects, that is, and those includes the senses and acting parts of the, um, uh, of the experience. The second is the affect, that is the feelings and relating aspects of the experience. And the third is the cognitive aspect of the experiences. So Bert's interested in the sensory aspects of the experience, the affective aspects of the experience, and the cognitive aspects of the experience. That creates the five different dimensions or building blocks of experiences. And so Bernd sees experiences on these five dimensions, senses, feelings, thinking, acting, and relating. And he thinks of them as either being, you know, high, medium, or low on each of these aspects. And he thinks that every time you build an experience or enhance an experience, you should think of the experience along these five dimensions. And so even though um, this looks like a holistic kind of a view, uh, Burnt breaks it down into these five categories. These five categories are important enough that Burnt has a separate chapter for each one. So a large percentage of the book, approximately half of it, deals with these five strategic experiential modules or SEMs. Today we're going to just talk a little bit about each one so you get a sense of how they fit together. He starts off with senses. This is the touch, the sight, the smell, the sound, and the taste, and the way the experience sort of looks. This is the way that the experience affects you through your senses. How you view, how you hear, how you taste, how you feel about the experiences. So for a sporting event, it might be things, everything from players' introductions to the uniforms, to the music, to the crowd noise, to the um, to the wild and crazy um, uh, WWF and UFC introductions of the contestants. For an NBA program, it includes things like the building, the rooms, the faculty dress, the, all of the things that provide you with the sense of being in an NBA program. And then let's look at something like a destination, Hawaii. You know, so if you're getting ready to go to Hawaii and and you're the travel guide that's designing the trip to Hawaii, does you know, does Hawaii when you get there does it look like the pictures? Does it sound like Hawaii should sound? You expect when you land in Hawaii for someone to be there playing ukulele music? Uh, I don't know why, just that's just part of the Hawaiian experience. And does it smell like it should? And that, of course, is the adds to the question. Well, how should Hawaii smell? Well, the answer, of course, is it should it should smell tropical. Of course, we don't know exactly what that means, but it ought to smell tropical. The second aspect is our feelings. These are feelings, emotions, things like happy, sad, anxious, nervous, scared. Um, uh, frightened, those sorts of things. These are the emotions elicited by the experience. So a sporting event, it might have to do with the rivalries, reason to boo and cheer, and the sort of feelings you have uh, when your home team wins or loses. I was just watching uh, an, a replay the other day um, while we've all been homebound, uh, watching the Cubs uh, in the seventh game of the World Series in the year that they won the World Series and became uh, um, world champions again. And, and, the, and I was emotional as I was watching it, even though I knew how it was going to turn out. For an MBA program, it's the notions and the feelings of being in the MBA program, the feelings of being smarter, the idea of alma mater, success, the sense of accomplishments. Those are all feelings that are elicited in an MBA program. Uh, at the end of the day, the MBA program should feel like it's worth it because you should feel like you've been changed. Going back to that before and after notion. In terms of Hawaii, um, does it feel like Hawaii should feel? That is, you know, and so I've been to Hawaii. And of course, I, one of the places that you typically visit if you're a tourist and you go to Hawaii is the Pearl Harbor Museum. Well, how should you feel when you visit the Pearl Harbor Museum? A couple of years ago, I, uh, re I 
visited uh, Daly Plaza with uh, with some with my family. Now I'd been to Daly Plaza before, and Daly Plaza is a, is an important part of history because it was the place where President Kennedy was assassinated. Now I have that burned in my memory because I was 12 years old at the time, and and I can still remember the day that it happened as if it was yesterday. So we were there, and we were and we were walking around Daly Plaza, and there's actually a big X on the road where the where the presidential limousine was when um, Oswald shot the president from the sixth floor of the book depository. Um, and we were there, and people were out there having their picture taken on the X and waving and smiling at the cameras, and and I thought that was a funny thing because it made me feel sort of sad because the people who were doing that obviously were not alive when this happened and, and maybe don't understand the, the 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 historical significance of that particular place for those of us who were alive when it happened it's all about the feelings third that the third thing is the thinking part of the um uh, of the cognitive aspect of experiences. This is the mental stimulation, the creativity, and the problem solving. Sport, so for a sporting event, it's things like putting up um, uh, player statistics and those sorts of things on a scoreboard. It might be trivia. It might be strategy guessing. It's the notion of thinking along with the team. Should we bunt here? Should we try to steal a base here? Um, uh, should we, um, um, you know, um, what kinds of things should we do from a strategy perspective? For an MBA program, this is truly part of the biggest part of an MBA program. That is the experiential learning activities that enhance and reinforce the core experiences in, MBA, in an MBA program. A good example of this is the Harvard MBA program where every single course is taught using the case method. And as a result, um, the thinking and mental stimulation and the creativity is all framed in working on cases and finding solutions for business problems as they come up. All right. Uh, so the idea behind a destination would be to get you to think about the destinations. What are the things that you want to do when you get there? Perhaps fun facts or perhaps stories about the destination. Think about the videos that you have seen about Hawaii. And so you would expect that Hawaii will be like that when you get there. So, you know, things that you might want to do when you get to Hawaii might include, um, uh, body surfing at Waikiki Beach or visiting the Pearl Harbor Museum or visiting the pineapple plantations on the north end of the um, of Oahu. The next one is the action part. This is the mental and physical participation in activities. So for a sporting event, it might be the wave and the cheering and the and the remember all of us as as UNLV uh, students and alumni. The old rebel chant, right? Rebels, rebels. That's all part of the action, waving our arms and yelling rebels. For an MBA program, the action part of this is presentation, networking events, and actually doing things rather than sitting in classrooms just listening to lectures. So when you go to Hawaii, what are some of the action things that you want to do? Perhaps it's learning the hula or surfing or paddle boarding or doing things like that. Uh, and so think about the action parts of the experience that is, and that helps create an immersiveness in the, in, in the, um, and an, and an interaction in that particular experience. It makes it come to life. If you're not just a part, a, a viewer, but you're an actual participant in that experience. And then finally, the last one that they talk about is relating. Uh, and this is the. This is the affiliation or the sense of belonging or team building or loyalty uh, that is related to the experience. So, uh, so it's the idea of relating the activity to your lifestyle. So for a sporting event, it might be fan clubs, loyalty building activities, everybody wearing Golden Knights stuff. Everybody in town is a Golden Knights fan. Uh, we'll see if that happens also when the Raiders get to town here uh, or aviators or the WNBA team. Uh, for the MBA program, it's all about relating you. It's your school, getting you to become a valued alumni before you leave school, not after. And so the idea is, is for you to understand that, the, that UNLV 
uh, is your school. You've all heard me talk about my experiences here at UNLV. I got here 32 years ago. Um, I am UNLV. Uh, I have spent 32 years helping make UNLV what it is today. And so I am truly, uh, I truly get the relate aspect of UNLV. And I certainly hope that all of you do as you become alumni. So, you know, from a, from a slightly different perspective. So what about the relate aspect of Hawaii? Well, we want you to, to, to relate to Hawaii, to this notion of, I, I had a great time in Hawaii and I would recommend it to my friends and I feel like it's a great place to go on vacation. So some of the things that you might do after going to Hawaii will be to bring home souvenirs. Uh, you know, typically it's things like macadamia nuts and things like that. And then maybe bring home some clothes so that when you get home, you can remember that particular trip to Hawaii by the clothes that you are wearing. So remember that the strategic experiential modules are the basic dimensions that the experiential uh, stager needs to understand and embrace to do their job of creating and enhancing experiences.